Hi everyone, welcome back. I actually got here, oh, it's about 1.45, and I got down to the, to the location here around noon, a little after I have my lumber that I milled yesterday. I have that here. Yeah, so I've honestly been working up doing some stuff for the last hour and 45 minutes. It doesn't really look anything different than what I've already filmed and showed you guys, other than the fact that I'm wearing something different, and that's about it. So it's the same thing. I'm just going up around, and what I was doing was securing the rafters into place more because I had only just kind of loosely secured things so that the wind wouldn't kind of move things out of position. So I went around and screwed and nailed everything in. There was a dance party that you missed. There was a dance party up along this structure with a whole lot of screwing and a little bit of banging. Oh, come on. Come on, have a sense of humor. So it happens when you're like out here by yourself, talking to yourself all day long. Um, anyway, I screwed, changed my positions from all the, for all the screws and everything and long four inch all purpose screws. And just because I knew I'd hear in the comments about that not being enough, I, at the bottoms, of the rafters along the beams, I put big long eight inch spikes in through the rafters into the beam. And I literally can't imagine how that's going anywhere. So the top part, the peak, I just screwed, 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 all different directions. I had to pre-drill everything so that the wood didn't split a couple or one rafter thing split. So I just said, ah, I better pre-drill everything. So I did that. What I do want to start to show you now um, is how I'm going to put on the fake rafters at the back. Sorry, the fake beams at the back. And then I'm going to put those two other rafters on. And then whether I start the roof boards or I put that fascia board up first along the rafters, whichever comes first, I'll see how that goes. The one thing I need to consider, I think, when I'm adding on these beams at the back is my roofing material. As I've got it now, I'm 12 feet from front to back. And the panels of roofing, I'm gonna use the same stuff that I used on the little shed, which is the stuff that ripped off of our roof in the winter time. So it was just gonna get dumped. So I'm salvaging that. Um, I hope I have enough, but it, it's 12 inches per panel. So I wanna stay within the, so that I have just the right amount of panels so that I'm not cutting anything and wasting anything because I think I'm barely going to have enough as it is. So that's the only thing. I So I think I'm going to end up doing less. I was going to make them a foot long, but I think I'm going to do them less so that I can stay within my roof material, if that makes sense. And then adding fascia on each bit, which is going to be, fascia would be probably front and back, maybe three quarters of an inch each. So an inch and a half extra I'm just all thinking about all these things I have to take into account. So that's going to play a role in how I decide what length I'm going to use for these little false rafter beams. I don't want to use my chainsaw because I don't want to screw up the left arm. Left arm needs a workout. screw it baby I brought some wood glue I'm gonna glue this um, I've got these leg screws and I'm going to pre-drill screw them in this is how it's gonna go because the weak point is at this 
point, like to go like that. So I'll do that. And then if I need to afterwards, I will add a little, like a wind bracing thing or whatever. Um, but in the meantime, I have these. So I can always put these down like this for now until I figure out like my side, my wall panels and my siding and all that sort of stuff. Um, but only nine inches is not very much, so I, I think I'm fine. And I just measured in three inches up, so. Oh, let me do the other thing first, that spade bit. I can't find that spade bit. I found some cookies though. Bummer. I don't know where that thing is. I don't know. Oh, and to answer some questions, I'm going to bring a generator here. As you can tell, there's hardly sun here, especially in the winter. Solar which just wouldn't work here. Um, I, we do have a little Honda generator down at the cabin. It's just I haven't, haven't been able to get there. But the next time I go out there, I'm going to bring that and bring it down here and use the generator. So I really realize I need to have power here. thing. I don't know, that's going to be covered. Right. You know, it sticks up, but yeah, I cannot find that spade bit anywhere. So it's here somewhere. This one's like loose, the other one wasn't. So I think I'm going to add a, one of those brackets here and here on this one. Washer glue. awkward if I do say so I think I'm gonna add the bracket because as I as I'm screwing it it's moving it over so why don't I put that bracket on first and use that so put that on to hold it in place first.
Rafter time. Yay. Okay. One of the things that has been suggested as part of the problem or the problem when I was having doing my rafters is not accounting for the kerf of the blade and potentially cutting on the wrong side of the line or whatever. So I'm going to be extra careful about that and see if that makes a difference for these two that I do. I'm just going to cut this down a little bit so it's easier to work with because it's way long. Okay. I should have just grabbed a clamp, but I put a screw here. The screw is not in the right spot. Can you even see? <sighs> um. It's the best fitting rafter I've done. So, those people who said that were right. I think I slightly, I probably cut right on the line and not to the waist side of the line. So probably each at the top and at the bottom, each one, that little bit caused that, because it was always about a quarter of an inch some of them, to be honest, though, were quite a bit, and there's no way I overcut that much, but this fits like perfect. I can't believe it. Idiot. Oh. Oh, yeah, let me get down. Jeez, I don't know you guys. I just maneuvered that rafter over to the other side and it does not fit the same. So I'm gonna do, I'll do them individually. So I'm just gonna mark this one. I have it up against this end rafter and I'm just gonna mark my square cut against it rather than run a chalk line. Hello. I just ran into a little problem on the, the far side. Um, so I've just taken a bit of time to try and figure out what, why it happened, like what's going on and if I can fix it or hide it. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, the rafter on the lower part is quite low, like probably like that much lower than the than the big cedar one. And the cedar one is a little bit proud, to be honest. Probably like a quarter inch proud to the next one beside it. So I either put a little wedge, which I've kind of done, like a shim. The rafter did fit really quite, quite well without it. So let's just take it off. Okay. It's pretty good. Still a little bit extra, but not bad. But it's too low. You can see there, it's pretty obvious. So if I put this shim there, it definitely improves it. So my thing is, is do I, I have another board I can do as a rafter? Or do I just, and that definitely makes it acceptable to me. But just that looks really bad and it's not quite on there. But I just don't know if I have it in me to, to do another one, to be honest, they fit good up there. I decided, I decided to shim it. I just had to find the right thickness of a shim that would work. Don't hate me. I just don't have it in me to make another one, make another rafter. Getting a little bit beat up climbing around up there, so I mean, I just make it work. I'm, I'm pretty much getting to be out of time. I just really wanted to get some roof boards on, but it's almost six. And um, I still have a little bit of like, obviously clean up and whatnot, but I just want to see. I'm gonna have to organize these roof boards. Oh, oh I just wanna, just wanna do it. Just wanna know what it's, oh be like oh I'm gonna just do it but I'm gonna pull a Ryan on surviving ringworm and not put it in all the way I wish I was out here for longer. I think that's, I'm not gonna put any more nails in because I actually don't think I'm gonna keep that in there. <laughs> oh, there's a teaser. We're at the end, you guys. I'm gonna clean up and go. I totally forgot. <laughs> I have to do the blocking first anyway. All the blocking along the beam there. So. I realized I actually have to measure for the little wood stove and I've decided it's going in this corner. Uh, Steve helped me decide because I was 50-50 between this corner and that corner. Steve said this corner so I went with this corner and it makes things a little bit simpler. I don't have to go through the loft with the pipe and yeah so they just need measurements. <laughs> 